TNT Sports at the Michigan International Speedway in Brooklyn, Michigan, the LifeLock 400, and that's the distance from first to second. We went to break, it was 2.3. Now it's seven tenths of a second. Yeah, he, he gained a lot. Now it's gonna be interesting to see, now that he's not in clean air anymore, so to speak, you know, how much he'll gain on him. But if, if they're running in different places, if Picker runs a different line, he's gonna be able to pull it off. But so far, they look like they've been in the same place on the racetrack. It's exact, it, you're right. It looks like they've been in the same place. The one thing Vickers does do is roll in on him really fast getting in the corner. This is sixth and seventh. Earnhardt in the 88. And Biffle in the 16. Casey Kane in the nine. They're racing for positions. And Vickers is right there looking for the lead as they come across the start finish line and head for turn one. Got a big run on him. Gonna take a look at the high side. Up. Oh, I think this is where Vickers wants to be to make this yeah. pass. I, I think Jimmy kind of conceded the lead about halfway down the front stretch. You saw him kind of pull to the inside to give Vickers the high side. But you weren't gonna hold Vickers back for long. 18th to first for 24-year-old Brian Vickers in just 33 laps. You saw the 40 of Frankiti slow on the track, getting the black flag. I believe there was smoke coming out of the pipe. We figured, yeah. You know, when you break a valve spring this early, it, it, that's uh, it's going to get ugly. <laughs> the oil gets heavier. I, I would with rather, metal. <laughs> if I broke a valve spring this earlier, I want to happen to me exactly what happens to him. I don't want to ride out there all yeah. day long. Johnson coming back. And you know, I, this is interesting because maybe right here when Vickers came up and caught him and, and Johnson moved down, maybe he found a little bit more grip down down low because he has not been running down there, or maybe he's just experimenting a little bit to find out what Vickers has got. Matt Yoakum. Well, Bill closed again on the first round of pit stops in about another seven laps. The only thing Jimmy Johnson has said on the radio was he was moving around his line. He wanted his spotter, Stevie Reeves, and Chad Canals to keep him abreast of what the 83 was doing as far as his line, Vickers, but also if his lap time is picked up or dropped down. Right now, Jimmy says the car is a little too tight in the center. He needs a little more help, too, on the forward by an exit. The car pretty stacked. Matt Kenseth in that 17, Kyle Busch in the 18, Kenseth third, Busch fourth. Again, this is first and second. Vickers did get his five bonus points for leading a lap, wants to lead a few more. And this is just 35 laps in, working lap 36. You see Jimmy come back under him on the inside here. And, and Jimmy has found some grip down here on the bottom. You get the run on the high side, but this has been a pretty good Whoa. race for the last couple of laps. You got a little bit yeah. loose right there. And just like, and, and like we said, Vicker's car has been rock solid steady. But you saw the 48, like you say, get a little loose, move a little bit. And, and when you're down on the bottom like that, Kyle, you've got to get, you've got to get a little bit more aggressive with the throttle. If you're going to try to get up and slide in front of somebody coming off the corner, and that may have been why that thing broke loose just a little bit. When you're up on the top, got a little bit more to work with as far as grip and the throttle. And you can be a little bit smoother with it. You can roll onto the throttle when you're on the top. When you're on the bottom, you got to get that instant go, and you've got to jump in the gas hard. Exactly. Sometimes it just skates the front and snaps loose like that.